He was known as the Sultan of Swat, the Bambino, or simply Babe. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of Babe Ruth. Boys, baseball is just like life. Yesterday, Freddie was a failure. Today, he's a big hero. It just goes to show if you keep on trying, you'll come out on top as Freddie did. George Herman Ruth Jr. was born February 6, 1895, in Baltimore, Maryland, to German-American parents. As a child, this troublemaker was sent to a reformatory where he was introduced to baseball. Ruth excelled at the sport, and by age 19, his hitting and pitching talent drew interest from minor league owner Jack Dunn. Dunn wanted to sign Ruth to his Baltimore Orioles and became his legal guardian in order to do so. Teammates teased him and nicknamed him Jack Dunn's baby, which was later shortened to Babe. Soon, Babe Ruth was sold to Boston and made his major league debut for the Red Sox on July 11, 1914. He rose to prominence the following year with a 23-12 record, a league-leading 1.75 ERA, and nine shutouts. Though he soon transitioned away from pitching, he made his mark with numerous records. Five years into his pro career, Babe Ruth also had three World Series to his name. However, on December 26, 1919, Red Sox owner Harry Frazee sold Babe Ruth to the Yankees in a landmark deal. That deal proved great for New York and disastrous for Boston. The Babe went on a rampage with the Yankees. In 1920, he hit 54 homers and batted 376. To put that in perspective, that was more home runs than most entire teams hit per season. Meanwhile, Boston began the Curse of the Bambino era, which was an 86-year drought between World Series wins that some superstitious fans attributed to the trade. In 1921, Babe Ruth homered 59 times and batted 378 for New York. There ever was a time that I'm going to try to hit a home run, it's sure going to be today for you boys. By 1923, the squad moved to the new Yankee Stadium, which came to be known as the house that Ruth built. Fittingly, the Bambino hit the first home run there and finished the year with a career-high 393 batting average and 41 home runs. For the third straight season, the Yankees faced the Giants in the final, but this time, Ruth led his team to their first World Series title. In 1927, the Yankees lineup was known as Murderer's Row because of their hitting skills. They managed 110 wins on their way to another World Series triumph with a sweep of the Pittsburgh Pirates. When the Yankees adopted the regular use of jersey numbers in 1929, Babe Ruth wore number three. Though his play was declining, he was still a star. In 1933, he participated in the first ever All-Star Game. But on September 30, 1934, he played his last game at Yankee Stadium. After surpassing his personal goal of 700 home runs, he finished his career with the Boston Braves and announced his retirement on June 2, 1935. When the Baseball Hall of Fame opened the next year, Babe Ruth was one of the first five players inducted. His last work with the MLB was a first base coaching job with the Brooklyn Dodgers. In his last years, Ruth focused on charitable efforts. In 1946, he was stricken with cancer and finally passed away on August 16, 1948 from pneumonia. Ruth's legacy is unparalleled. From his numerous records to his extroverted personality, Babe Ruth is widely considered the best baseball player in history.